the extreme program has returned and will be the show 22 and here in this video i'm gonna give you a quick rundown and tutorial of how you can attack the conquest map specifically i've had a lot of people asking me about that and if you played it will be the show 20 extreme do know that this conquest map is definitely easier you're gonna take it less time than that extreme map you're not gonna have to restart multiple times over and over but it can still be a little bit tricky. And there's a couple of things you can do to help out your progress through the map and ensure that you can get it done in one turn. While also not having to play on any crazy high difficulties for any of these games either. So coming into the map here, you can see I got about half of it done. I got five games left. This just took me just a few hours to get to this point. And I have all the turn-based missions done. So really at this point, it's just like playing out a standard conquest map. And it's going to be really, really easy. You've played any conquest maps. You've known what to do by this point in time. So a real quick rundown of the missions we got here. On the first turn, you need to capture one stronghold. On the second turn, you need to have captured your second. This is a trend that will continue. On your third turn, you need to have captured at least 3 million fans that you would have stolen. So you do need to steal fans in this conquest. 3 million before the third turn. You need to capture a third enemy stronghold on or before that third turn as well fourth before that fourth turn fifth before that fifth turn and that's going to be the final uh enemy stronghold in a turn mission you got to do so five of those in five turns with the method i used i was able to get three strongholds in the very first turn which really opened up what i could do after that and made it to where it really wasn't stressful at all i was easily able to get that done then you need to steal six million fans before the sixth turn acquire 100 million fans a conquer 100 territories and then 9 million fans before the ninth turn so our five strongholds before or on the fifth turn and stealing 9 million fans on or before the ninth turn is the two really turn-based ones we got to worry about to ensure that as long as we do those everything else is going to be super easy we're going to be able to roll through that for me on the steel fans i just simply did three games on all-star if you wanted you could just do nine games on rookies stealing 1 million fans a time obviously that's going to add more games to what you're doing and going to add more time to the conquest map so for me i was just doing it on all-star and one key with that is i was stealing from the next team i was going to play against so let's say i was still working on that mission uh and based off where i'm at now i'd probably go and attack the royals next they got 11 people there in their stronghold if i were to steal fans at this point i'd come in here and i'd go to the royals play them on all-star they'd have a little bit less fans in their stronghold so likely when i got to them to go capture that stronghold i could maybe play that game on a slightly lower overall difficulty as well help me out just a little bit make it a little bit easier to win that game and sure i don't lose to set me off of any missions that i've been working on now in terms of my starting strategy myself i know a lot of people this top left stronghold right here that is your mariner stronghold a lot of people would go to that right out the gate but the problem is if you go to this mariner stronghold you move your way here there's no way that you can capture this stronghold and then continue moving from that so you start with 15 reinforcements right here on your main stronghold you come down you capture the mariners your turn's done you're gonna get some more reinforcements you're gonna have quite a bit to work with from that point but you can no longer move anymore you can only capture one stronghold on the first turn and while you're sitting there with the inability to move your other teams like the brewers here the braves here uh the twins here or the padres maybe even the rockies down over here they are going to be getting more reinforcements and expanding where they're at it's going to make it harder for you to get to those stronghold spots so for me i ignored the mariners out the gate and i at, right out the gate went straight to the brewers now i made sure i got here without losing reinforcements because it was my very first turn so i think this very first time i lost like uh three reinforcements here on the simulation i just went ahead i started that over started the whole map no reason to not do that from there i was able to come in i took the brewers that was a game on all-star didn't have to play on a very high difficulty had enough people and i was able to work right down just three tiles over i think i had to do one simulation and i was able to do the braves on all-star as well now at that point if you wanted to stop there you'd have two strongholds in your first turn that you both played on all-star you could probably move some reinforcements down here as well be prepared for the next turn you're already ahead of that five in five mission you steal fans from the twins going into that next turn you could probably play this game on all-star as well move down to the padres after that and be in a pretty good spot but for me what i wanted to do was to get as much ahead as i could now the twins when i was playing i kind of covered up this territory that i'm highlighting right here 
obviously i had just taken the braves they had one spot here and then these three spots were all empty except for this one right here that the twins had so all i had to do was win one simulation there versus the braves claim these two free spots win this simulation here and then i got a chance to play the twins here on hall of fame in the very first turn i was able to win that game and that allowed me to get three strongholds done on one turn which just gives you a ton of buffer now over the next four turns i simply have to take two more strongholds that is quite easy to do because one thing to know after that first turn you're only going to get a handful of reinforcements assuming you win that first steel fans game you're doing that on three million you're gonna have like six million maybe five million fans to reinforce myths so you're not gonna have a whole lot of movement able to be made i was able to win my steel fans games i did it against the padres i came down here i played this game on hall of fame as well i think i could have gotten there with some better simulation luck and easily played that on hall on all-star but i did have to play this game on hall of fame and at that point I had my four i only needed one more actually went back and got the mariners then at that point so i waited to do those till the end because again i wasn't going to do that out the gate i wasn't going to trap myself in that corner and then have to make up all that ground at all that time but i also didn't want them coming and attacking my other strong cold so at that point i easily just came back reinforced my main starting point went up here to the mariners took that over and then i was done i was done with my five strongholds in five turns mission all i had left were the steel fans missions which at this point i was on the third turn i had already stealing three million fans I actually lost one of my steel fans games on all-star so i would have been at six had i not lost that game but i easily won the next one and i was at six million after the third turn so that one's really really easy to do assuming you're playing on all-star you just got to win one in three to make that happen to get that nine million before the ninth turn so not a mission i'd worry about too much but just remember to do so that was kind of my starting strategy and then from that point it's simply just using it like a normal conquest start filling in some of these free spaces building up as much territory as you can building up some reinforcements you know i just kind of started filling in the gaps went down took the rockies and then i decided to just go ahead and fill out that west side of the map and then i could have that plan of attack to go through and finish out the other parts of the map and as you see only got five games left here on this map all my turn-based missions are done and it made it super easy getting that three in the very first turn was used for this i didn't have to worry about it i wasn't i didn't have to worry about a simulation going wrong you know if you play yourself in a bad spot possibly and you get one on the first turn a second on the second turn maybe only a third on the third turn now you have two turns to get two more strongholds well let's say you come in with a 15 stack of of reinforcements you go into uh attack a twin spot and they got three people on there and they take out all your reinforcements so guess what you may not be able to get that mission done because you got unlucky with the simulation or you'd have to go in and manually play that game to ensure that doesn't happen you can see how many spots are on the map that would add a lot of games played so i think trying to get out early is going to make a huge difference for you another thing i did is i also knocked out a couple moments before i hopped into it as well you can see all i've done here a few moments in the conquest i'm only at 20 points but that's going to go up very quickly obviously there's 25 points there the showdown or the conquest is going to be giving me 25 showdown is going to give me another 25 so that's 50 right there and i'm working on knocking out these missions as well you can see I already have two of the carry wood missions done and i'm 70 player xp away from my third one because what i did was i came in here and i did get five moments done simply five moments is going to get you that carry wood so if i was going to be playing a ton of games on conquest anyway you have the 15 from the game itself and then you got to have at least three steel fans so that's 18 games at minimum i wanted to use the carry wood while i was doing that uh you can see i was 70th actually to p2 and then i fell off the grind ever so slightly already 22 people have on p5 but you do only need to get him p4 if you're doing the rest of the moments and all that stuff so that's going to be pretty easy for me to get i'm already about 2000 player xp away from that parallel four marker now i'm going to pretty easily get that when i'm finishing up this conquest map maybe a few more games on top of that but i'm not expecting to have to do too much but i did ensure that i had enough 
progress through the program. I found five moments. There's a handful of these that aren't too bad, especially the pitching ones. You should be able to knock those out. And I got Kerry Wood to start the conquest grind so I can get the player XP while grinding through it as well. Start knocking out two birds with one stone so I can really be efficient with my time and progress through the program. So that is my conquest plan of attack here for Extreme. Had a lot of people asking me what they should be doing on the conquest house. So they should be attacking that. A couple people struggling with it, having to restart the map a few times. I hope this video helps out, helps you give some direction to it as well. Kind of give you a lot of progress in that Extreme program. Help you pick up at least a few of those cards you've been struggling with the showdown the moments hopefully you should be able to at least come in knock out that conquest get some progress through that program as always y'all enjoyed this video definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you got any questions be sure to be up down in the comment section below until next time i'll catch y'all around